uh, active familiarization which is also applicable to MATLAB. So last time we plotted a sine wave. You could easily uh, ask help in this environment like help sign and it basically prints the information about the sine function and you could have it's computing the sign of each element of x in radians you could also type help help so we would display the help text for a certain name so let's uh, to clear the screen you could have uh, you could type clc and in MATLAB you have uh, certain special uh, variables like ANS will give you the most recent answer computer will give you the computer type uh, let's try this too so I don't have a recent answer I think so let's create one like for example 3 times 4 so you have 12 I have my latest answer and I could call that answer I also can ask about the copier so currently I'm running on a Linux copier and I have EPS a floating point uh, operation so count of floating point operations so flops EPS floating point relative accuracy so EPS that's 2.22 times 10 to the negative 16 and we have flops I J infinite so I imaginary number same with J and let's print the flops so flops I think it's exclusive to MATLAB I think infinity and you have not a number uh, pi as well so pi so MATLAB is case sensitive so if you capitalize pi it will not recognize it so you also, you also have real max and the real minimum so there are plenty, plenty of other alternatives like these are the special matrices you have an identity mess grid ones zeros you could have a random number and the I, first one is the uniformly distributed the other is the normally distributed you could also have so we could try to manipulate matrices like multiply so let's come up with an identity identity 3 by 3 and let's just try to multiply it with another matrix so let's come up with matrix 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so we will expect C to be just the same as B since this will be identity so you will have a C 1 2 3 4 5 6 if you use the dot however it will be an element wise multiplication so that means 
if this there will be a dot here then what will be left is the diagonal since the diagonal has all ones so 159 we'll expect 159 and we got 159 as the result so what else can we do here so you could come up with a diagonal create or extract the diagonal of a matrix so let's try this one C or let's call it D equals the diagonal of our matrix C and it's a column vector containing the diagonal elements of the matrix so what else can we do we have flip left right so um, we could print b once again and it's one two three four five six we could come up with another matrix so flip left right of b so uh, as you can see the first column is now the last column the central column is still the central column and the third column is now the first you could have and maybe flip upper right so Take the command is upper diagonal ut okay so in this case it's the rows the third row is now the first row well the first row is now the upper row so we could have rotation we could have reshape um, and finally we could have a determinant uh, for example determinant of matrix E is equals to uh, almost zero and we could have the norm trace inverse we could have eigenvalues characteristic polynomial matrix exponential matrix logarithm and matrix square root so to wrap up we could I think you have also magic here same as MATLAB for example magic 3 by 3 and you could have a matrix in which you have a sum of for example 8 plus 1 plus 9 15 and then 8 plus 8 so 15 so all columns and all rows are when you add them you will get 15 so you could extend the size to a large value like and you could have uh, same sums of the columns um, and sums of the rows as well 